The Perlmeister Green Guard Prize is a real gem uh, here at Rockefeller, and I think it's a consequence of a visionary idea and the very high standards uh, with which uh, the recipients have been uh, selected. And now Professor Paul Greenberg. The genesis of this prize goes back to uh, the year 2000 when I won the uh, Nobel Prize in uh, Physiology and Medicine. The prize is called the Pro Meister Green Guard Prize uh, because it was named in honor of my mother who died giving birth to me and it seemed that it would be a nice thing since I wanted to do something about discrimination against women to name it in her memory. One hope from this prize is that women who are fascinated by science, who are thinking about careers in science, will see these incredible women who have been leaders in science, have been successful in science, and are recognized in science, and see these women and say, I want to be like her and I bet I can. Here in my lab, we invent advanced imaging methods with molecular scale resolution and genomic scale throughput to study biological systems. We're made of cells, and then uh, cells are made of molecules. So we want to understand, in general, these molecular interactions. How do they give rise to some of the higher order behaviors of the cell? These imaging methods uh, need to have very strong, what we call resolving power, because uh, the molecules are so tiny, they're nanometer scale. So w one of the things that we did is uh, an invention of a microscopy method called STORM, which overcome the diffraction limits so that we could get nanometer scale or molecular scale resolution to really have a very crisp picture of what these molecular players are doing in our body. One thing that I would dream about is uh, you know, I really love this direct visualization approach. You know, really seeing is believing. And uh, you know, this thing that Yugi Berra like to say, you know, one can see a lot by watching. It's this kind of obvious truth, but it tells you that uh, what you learn by just directly seeing things is an amazing amount of insights that you can get. Now with that, you know, I can get a molecular basis of life. And I also can see this unfortunate patient who has this disease is because these molecules went wrong this way. I directly visualize that. So if I could have that kind of a dream scenario where every single molecule in our body, what do they look like, where they are, how do they interact with each other, and how do they together give us life, and uh, what went wrong in diseases. They're all directly visualizable that I would love. And uh, I would just keep working towards that direction, and how long it would take hard to say. When I got that email about this uh, sad news uh, that Paul passed away, I thought, oh, that's so sad. I would have so loved to actually meet him and see him not having a chance uh, to communicate uh, exciting scientific stories uh, with him and to hear his uh, sort of wisdom and the feedback. I felt like that what I want to do the most is to keep doing great science so that I won't let him down, <laughs> right? That kind of thing. And uh, also promote women in science, especially encouraging young scientists, young female scientists to, to tell them that, uh, hey, you know, we can do whatever we want if we put our hearts and minds to. There's no reason to believe that uh, if we are interested in certain things, uh, we cannot do it. And then encourage those girls uh, to get into science too. <laughs>